Hello, my name is Janet Altman, and I am the marketing partner for Kaufman Rawson. I'm very excited to be here to talk about the Women's Fund. Uh, I've been involved with the Women's Fund since 2007. Um, my background is in marketing, and I've worked in lots of different organizations. But one of the things that I find most powerful about being here in Miami and getting connected with the Women's Fund is the ability to use my skills, my communication skills to create impact and advocate for women and girls. I got involved with the Women's Fund because in 2007, a lovely woman named Michelle Stone, who was the wife, is the wife of one of my partners at Kaufman Rawson, called me and she said, I'm getting a table at the Women's Fund Power of the Purse luncheon. And she said, you need to come and you need to bring the other Kaufman Rawson women. And I said, Michelle, I'd love to, it's a, marvelous, uh, it's a marvelous invitation, but what is the Women's Fund? And she said, oh, you need to come to the Power of the Purse. And at the Power of the Purse, I learned about the Power of the Women's Fund. So through Michelle and through a number of other women that I met that day, I became increasingly engaged with the Women's Fund and with the fabulous, important, impactful mission of the Women's Fund to change the lives of women and girls in Miami-Dade County. One of the things that I think is really amazing about what has happened since that day is how many people and how many connections and how many wonderful women I have met who believe so strongly in what the Women's Fund does. And it's very hard to imagine this community without the Women's Fund. I know there is a lot of history uh, since the Women's Fund was founded with the fabulous grants that we've given and the wonderful organizations that we've started and supported. But the thing that I really find most amazing about the Women's Fund and most powerful for me is the great marriage of the support to local organizations and collaboration with them to do the work on the ground that helps individual women and girls with the advocacy and impact work that we do. It's a balance that is very hard to maintain and a balance that is so important. When I was the chair of the board of the Women's Fund, one of the things that we decided to do and the thing that resonated most with me at that time, but still today, is to focus on economic security and equal pay. It's hard to imagine what this community would be like if women were paid equally to men. And it's hard to imagine the changes that would happen in individual women's lives because so many women would be brought out of poverty if they were paid fairly for the work that they do. And at that time, we introduced Equal Pay Miami-Dade, which was a move, a push, a movement to get government agencies, nonprofits, and private and public companies to start paying women what they were worth. The lack of equal pay, the lack of fair pay, and of and equal access to education has created a community where, like so many others, women are always falling behind. Women are always struggling to catch up. Women, more women are in poverty and their families are in poverty simply because they are not being given an equal playing field and not being rewarded the same way that men are for what they are able to achieve in the world. So, we launched Equal Pay Miami Dade in 2017. I was so proud to be involved with that movement, so proud that we were able to work together with the Miami Dade County Commission and now our now mayor, uh, Daniela Levine Cava, to get the commission to agree that people who work for the county, whether they are employees or even vendors, have to pay equally. And Miami, the city of Miami followed suit. So many women have so much to offer and aren't fairly paid to do it. So that's my most important 
uh, advocacy work that I've ever done and the most important work that I think the Women's Fund is doing in our community. It's hard to know what this community would look like, uh, but we strive for it if women got a fair shot. So one of the things that I think is so amazing about the Women's Fund and my involvement here is that it just keeps continuing. As I mentioned, I was introduced in, 20, in 2007 by my friend, Michelle Stone. I've been able to introduce a lot more people to the Women's Fund along the way. We launched Equal Pay Miami-Dade in 2017. And more recently, I've gotten my firm, Kaufman Rawson, involved in supporting the economic security pillar that the Women's Fund holds so strongly. And that pillar is about equal pay, but it's also about affordable housing, it's about all of the other economic impacts that happen in women's lives, including things like childcare. If a woman doesn't have affordable childcare, she can't have an equal shake in getting a job or keeping a job. So I'm so proud of my firm, Kaufman Rawson, for saying economic security for women is something that we want to support with funding, with energy, with all of the resources that we have and are able to build awareness of the issues that women face through outdoor advertising and other brand awareness or awareness building techniques. That's something that we have been doing for several years now. And it's the kind of thing that people mention. It's the kind of thing where the press picks it up, where we see our billboards, where people notice that there's an issue and that Kaufman Ross is behind it and that the Women's Fund is behind it. More recently, I was very pleased that my firm was asked to support the dashboard with research that's being supported by the Women's Fund to track the metrics of women's economic security. And our firm, it's one of the top accounting and consulting firms in the nation and the top independent firm in the state of Florida. We understand that the numbers tell the story. We understand that what gets measured and what gets shown in terms of data and statistics, that's what gets changed. That's what people see and what people want to work on. So having our backing behind that dashboard and having that data showing what's going on with the poverty rate among women, what's going on with the pay gap, how women are being affected by all the economic conditions that affect everybody in our community, that dashboard is gonna be so powerful in enabling us to really create change for women and girls in our county. Being part of the Women's Fund is one of the things I am most proud of. When I arrived in Miami from New York, which was a long time ago, I connected with some people in our community, but it wasn't until I connected with organizations like the Women's Fund, where I felt like I could be part of the community in an impactful way. And with the Women's Fund, I've really felt like I've created some opportunities for change, but I've also created a community. I've created a place where I'm with women who want to advocate for change, believe in the things that I believe in, and believe that the future can be better for women and girls, but we all need to collaborate, work together, bring others along and create that future for ourselves. So I'm really proud to be part of the Women's Fund and I'm really grateful that the Women's Fund is here for all of us. <laughs>